Father Jonah, thank you so much for joining us today. That's great to be here. Thanks so much, Paul. To get started, would you please explain the name Hillbilly Thomists? Sure. So Hillbilly Thomists um, is a phrase that we took from the Southern author Flannery O'Connor, who's written a lot of weird uh, Southern kind of Gothic folk tales, short stories and novels. And her writings um, were described as hillbilly nihilism, to which she responded, I'm not a hillbilly nihilist, I'm a hillbilly Thomist. A Thomist is someone who studies the thought of St. Thomas Aquinas, who was a Dominican friar, a member of our order, but about 800 years ago. He's a very influential theologian and thinker in the Catholic Church, in that tradition. And so we thought that the term is great for our music. We do Americana, bluegrass, rootsy kind of music set in the Appalachian Hills, so kind of hillbilly music. And then we're also Dominican friars, and we study St. Thomas Aquinas. And we also love Flannery O'Connor. So all of that swims together nicely for the hillbilly Thomists. You could say Flannery was the original hillbilly Thomist. You could. We do say that, yes. Do you guys see this as an extension of your work in ministry? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, it's a, a phrase that's uh, attributed to St. Francis of Assisi. We don't think he actually said it, but it's uh, preach always, use words when necessary. Um, but that the entire Christian life should be one of letting your light shine so that others see your works and give glory to God. And so everything that we do, whether you know at work or at play or at rest, should in some way be indicative of the life we've received through our baptism. So we do think that it's part of our ministry and that we're still preaching the word preaching the truth, but also expressing it in different avenues and modes beyond just the pulpit or in the in the church. So sometimes your music might reach somebody who would not go to church or open a Bible. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we meet those people quite frequently on the streets um, or just they come to our shows and they've got lots of interesting winding roads for how they found the music. And so that, that's a great joy to see as well that music has such a, a unifying force in it that you can just be united in the goodness of the music and the song and then you might think a little bit about the words and what they're saying and go a little deeper but it's just a, a kind of front porch that everybody can get onto to listen to the music before they step into the house well you know meeting people where they are worked for jesus so why don't we give it a shot yeah it's good to imitate jesus always